Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the construction site on Saturday. My carpenters are here. Ooh, there's not that much light. The carpenters are here to start on the roof of the house. Let's go say hello. Alrighty guys, so we're up here on the attic slab measuring out where the uh, sill beam will go. Basically it will be tied onto these uh, pins that we put out of the concrete just like on the garage. The guys are up here measuring and we're figuring where exactly they should go. So we're using some string to uh, determine the outside edge of the uh, beam that goes onto the concrete sill. The guys are just marking it out with a pencil just to have the outer edge line. Alright guys, and here inside the house, check it out. The guys took out the metal forest of acro props. So they've been taking out the supports from from the attic slab and uh, down below they started to uh, put up the walls you can see the kitchen wall next to the stairs here another wall so all in all it's going pretty good so we've got a wall the walls are going up pretty cool so the wood that we bought is protected against uh, bugs and fungus. The wood has been soaked at the sawmill in some uh, protective agent against also uh, I think fire and the green color on top is just uh, some paint to indicate that uh, the protection has been applied but the cuts that the guys are doing we're just painting some extra stuff on so the pieces that were cut are also protected So for the beam that goes uh, as the foundation for the roof structure, the guys are measuring out where the pins are located and then transferring those marks onto the beam over there to drill holes so it aligns perfectly. So these uh, pins, they're not set in an ideal line. So the guys measure from the marking with it, how far in the pin, pin is, so they can drill the holes precisely.
so the work is going pretty well. The guys are uh, setting up this uh, sill beams, these sill beams, I guess that's what they're called. I don't know the proper naming, sorry guys. But this is like the underlayment on uh, which the rafters are standing. And yeah, we're using a tar paper, like a rainforest tar paper for a foundation, really thick and nice stuff to separate the concrete from the wood so that if the concrete draws some water it doesn't uh, put it back into the beam and rot it out or something. Some people say unnecessary because the concrete will extract the water from the wood the other direction. Some people say necessary. It's uh, hard to judge but we're putting it in. So yeah, should be good. Despite the bolts, nuts and bolts that hold the wood together, the guys are also pounding five inch nails uh, into the end ends so that they are tied together nicely. Tak to mówić nieć? No! Pojedu co nas pojedu. No tak. 591 z tego momentu. So the guys are making a templates for the rafters. So this rafter will sit on the sill beam like this. And that's basically the structure because the roof is supported on, uh, not on the middle but with a box structure so these will be uh, pushing outwards so they gotta rest on this uh, beam like this so that's like anchoring. It's uh, countering the force of countering the force of pushing out otherwise the roof could uh, slide outwards or something like that so that's the whole idea time for a little status update we're freezing up here the wind is picking up it's pretty chilly but the guys have put in this beam all the way around and they level it up with some shims because the concrete is not super even Mr. Pavel they do a fantastic job, but you can see here, my hand fits in here, so these are standing on uh, shims. The guys have been leveling this out, so that is straight to, straight to the string, otherwise the roof would come out wavy, that's at least the way I understand it. Alrighty, so the guys are now preparing our ridge board, it's going to be made out of two pieces. 
This is the piece of wood that goes on the very top of the roof structure. Basically, they placed it uh, right here on the tie beam. I guess this part is called the tie beam to uh, mark out where the rafters are going to be. So there's going to be a set of purlins all around on posts, but also some color beams between the rafters, just a few, not as many as on the garage. Some of the rafters they ended up right on the uh, hooks that we installed, the bolts that we installed. So you can see here, uh, guys, they cut them off with an angle grinder. And I just painted over it with some uh, rust preventing paint so it doesn't rust in the future. And then they used the chainsaw to gouge a channel in the rafter. So it fits. So it fits nicely on top of the bolt. <laughs> Shotgun. 
Dobre, 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 Oh, okay. So you guys are very fast paced. One, two, one, two. The are going up. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. So the ridge board, the guys are hammering uh, through the rafters, the nails are six inch long and they go from one rafter to the other, they cross the ridge board, that way it holds it very nicely in place. <laughs> The guys just left. It's the end of the day now. As you can see, we got a small resemblance of a roof now. It looks amazing, fantastic in my opinion. I'm very happy this is going forward. We'll be back next week to finish up. Uh, so probably by the end of next week, we might have something similar to that. And that will be super cool. Let's go inside and take a look uh, at the walls Mr. Pavel has been building. I want to show you that too. It's also interesting. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look. So I've been away most of the week, but you can see this part is beginning to look like something. And uh, also here, between uh, these posts. So this is the stairwell. It's going to go up and walls on both sides. Here probably will either have a big bathroom or a corridor to the window to let some light in and a bathroom on the side. Over here, between the entrance and the study, we're gonna have a full-on closet for hanging your clothes. And then inside uh, a wall, we're gonna have some bookshelves in here. On that end, there's gonna be a fireplace in the living room. So this is how it's going to look. There's going to be a little bit of a cove in the wall. So we can fit the fireplace insert inside. That's the general idea. And here from the kitchen side, nice full wall, really cool with a door at the end. The door at the end is going to lead outside into the hallway, down here underneath the stairs. And uh, this part over here that's open to the bathroom is going to be, uh, there's going to be a wall here also with a little entry to the pantry. But I'll show you that once we have more walls up. Of course, there's gonna be a lot more walls in here. This is just the beginning, so yeah. But it's going really good. And you can see the technique is that you raise these walls 
and then for the last layer right at the top of the wall we just put in some spray foam so that if the concrete of the slab has to bend it doesn't crack the whole wall because this is squishy and this is rigid so if this would put some pressure on the wall it would be cracking and stuff like that so we just spray foam in a little bit just to prevent that cracking and that's the whole idea and also Mr. Powell is putting in rebar between every layer of bricks and this way this wall is very resistant to getting pushed over because if the mortar is supposed to crack then it has to take the rebar with it it's basically reinforced concrete sort of so that's a, a general idea so that you can lean against the wall and not have it fall over because it's not anchored on the top only spray foam and also these uh, rebar pieces they go into the post I doubt we can see that but there's uh, holes drilled into the concrete post and rebar is anchored inside so that's the way the guys are doing it it's pretty cool in my opinion the view from the back of the house is also really cool I'm like a kid on Christmas with this roof stuff I'm very happy because this basically if we get the roof up it means no more issues with weather, no more worries of rain, stuff like that. The roof and then we're going to put some fall in the windows and then the house can rest for the rest of the winter and the spring. It can dry out before we start putting in other stuff. Alrighty, I hope you get the idea. So thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did enjoy this day. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye. Najkę zostawić dowód, bo ja spisu o nazwisku jako ty, no. <laughs> w roli głównej tyle Wojtek z tym. Ty. No. No. Ale se kurwa się zastanawiać. Pesa, co by wiedział, ale do skarbówki dziupła dać, no. <laughs>